give you a little bit of background information. You okay, your ear? You need your medicine? Thank you for reminding me. channel it's love always indoors and if you are new here then welcome so we're in a new space today we are in my kitchen I'm so excited to be here today because I'm doing something that's a little bit different I actually want to just go ahead and get an intro going for a raw feeding video I made that decision at the beginning of the pandemic maybe around April time frame and I figured it was as good a time as any to go ahead and give it a shot and we've been doing it ever since it's been smooth sailing there's lots of different reasons and lots of different benefits for going raw i'll go ahead and put them on the screen so that you can kind of get an idea of why people do go raw if you're looking at it from a budgetary standpoint i know a lot of people have concerns about whether or not it's sustainable financially um, I'm actually gonna have a whole video on that and just try to break that out But for now, I just wanted to kind of tell you and break down to you what I'm about to do Roxy eats the PMR diet which stands for prey model raw and it's basically there's two types There's the franken prey model and the whole prey model Obviously a whole prey means that you're gonna give her an entire Rabbit or an entire duck to eat whereas the franken prey basically takes the ratio of organs and bones and meat in that animal and puts it in a bowl So that's what I do for Roxy. She's on the 80 10 10 which is 80% muscle meat 10% raw edible bone 5% liver and 5% other organ I'm gonna go ahead and do a time-lapse of me preparing her food. I will be leaving some some uh, Some captions down at the bottom for you to kind of follow along as to what's happening. So enjoy the video no, good morning. It's Love Always Indoors. Let's go ahead and get started. So right now we've got a cutting board um, where we're going to cut out and lay out all of our meats. We have a scale. This is our, our um, scale. It's going to weigh our food in ounces. And we've got some ice trays here for our organ meat. And then we've got here a pile of meat. Okay, so this is a bunch of different meats that I have over the past, um, I've been co kind of collecting. Um, they're all packaged and labeled, so I know what's in them. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started.
for watching. I hope you all got something out of this video and got a chance to see that even little dogs, even chihuahuas can eat raw. It's not just for dogs. It's also for cats. It's also for ferrets. It's also for birds, okay? Just keep in mind what an animal was biologically designed to eat and just know that your animal can eat that too. I had to kind of refashion my brain and kind of understand how dogs are designed to eat and what their bodies are created to do and not be concerned that she was going to get salmonella like I would get. I would get salmonella if I ate her food, but she's not going to get salmonella. The pH of a dog's stomach is a little bit different than ours. There's a lot of things that go into it, but biologically they're designed to eat this way and I think Roxy truly enjoys it. That is kind of my take on how Prey Model Raw Diet has impacted my life and Roxy's life. I highly recommend it and I encourage anybody who's interested in trying. I definitely say you have to do your research. Like don't just do exactly what I did. You have to research for yourself and understand the concept and the premise. You have to make sure that your dog is eating a balanced diet. It is very, very important. You also need to be mindful of your dog's needs and your dog's allergies and also be mindful of your dog's age. So there's lots of different things that go into this and I did make sure that I put a good foot forward in my due diligence before I dove into this but it's been a great experience so far. Like I said, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you at my earliest convenience. Please like and subscribe to this video. Please click that notification bell so that you know what's going on with me and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.